Well, this Friday marks the opening of a transitional housing program serving homeless women and children in Baldwin County. As NBC 15's Andrea Ramey reports, the growing need and lack of services prompted the creation of Baldwin Family Village in Fairhope. So this, this will probably accommodate a family size of about four or five. This is one of 13 bedrooms that will soon house a woman and possibly her children who are trying to get off the streets and into stable housing. This is the only program of its kind in Baldwin County. A good number of people, sadly, were, were sleeping in their cars, sleeping in places not meant for human habitation. I mean, the stories that we hear and the number of crisis calls we get, um, it's heartbreaking. Kate Carver is the executive director of the Dumas Wesley Community Center, which operates Baldwin Family Village. The program is modeled after their transitional housing program, the Sybil Smith Family Village in Mobile. Carver says they achieve an 85 to 90 percent success rate each year. It's a program that is very rigorous. It's um, a hand up, not a hand out. So mm -hmm. our participants are expected to be employed within 30 to 60 days. We do background checks. It's a sober living facility. We have curfew, case management, life skills classes. Carver says they hope to serve between 75 and 100 people annually in Baldwin County. Already six women are scheduled to be interviewed opening day on Friday to see if they qualify for the program and 32 others are on a waiting list. The idea is to bring people into our care and to give them the tools um, that they need to undo the habits that led them to homelessness and allow them to be independent. Baldwin Family Village needs volunteers for things like child care and for sponsoring meals. If you're interested in volunteering your time, head to our website, mynbc15.com, and just click on this report or click on the Find It section. Reporting tonight in Baldwin County, Andrea Ramey, NBC 15 News.